It's 946 on this Saturday morning. It is time for Imagine It. We have Carl, uh, Carl Nelson here, the chief scientist at Imagination Station, and I'm seeing a leaf blower. It's almost that time, actually, where we have to start using those. It is, actually. And there's some really cool science you can do with fast-moving streams of air. Okay. Okay. And so let me show you what we're going to try to do, and we'll talk about it. I want to get this ball to levitate in the air Ooh. on a fast-moving stream okay. of air. So let's see if we can do that. Oh, yeah. Okay. And so what's really cool about that is there's a fast-moving stream of air colliding with the ball, counteracting the force of gravity. Okay. okay. But if you could nudge that ball really gently with your finger, nudge it back and forth, it's, it's actually pretty stable in that stream. Yeah, because I can, I can do a little bit, yeah. Mm -hmm. And in fact, what we could do, go ahead and pop it up there again, okay. is we can actually take the ball and turn it almost to 45 degrees. Oh, wow. And it will still float in the air. Yeah. Something cool you could do at home with a ping pong ball and a hair dryer on cool setting. Okay, yes. Okay. Now, the physics behind this is really kind of interesting. In fact, we can do it with a bigger ball. All Let's right. do one more thing. You can get one of these from the grocery store. Right? And you can or pick the... them up pretty much anywhere. Okay. Let's see if we can get this guy, which is a lot bigger. I don't know. Oh, oh there it goes. And you notice this guy starts to spin. Uh-huh. Whereas the other ball pretty much stayed steady. So right. Go ahead and catch that. Got okay. it. Okay, so often, the physics behind this is described as related to the Bernoulli principle. Okay. The Bernoulli principle says for a incompressible, non-viscous fluid that is flowing quickly, there's a low pressure area, and that's what stabilizes the ball oh, inside okay. the stream. Sure. I've talked with several physics professors across the country this week, and they all pretty much say, you know, there's a little bit of controversy with that. It's not necessarily exactly what's happening. Air is compressible. Okay. When the air right. passes past this ball, there's lots of turbulence. It doesn't really quite fit the clearly defined Bernoulli principle definition. Oh. But one explanation they gave, which I thought was pretty cool, is that if the ball is in the stream of air and it starts to move sideways uh -huh. out of the stream, some of the air will fo follow along the curve of the ball. And the air, if it is ejected that way, mm -hmm. has had a force applied to it. Newton's third law of motion says for every action there's an equal and opposite reaction, the ball has to move this way. So if the air curves like that, the ball's gonna go like that. Oh. If the okay. ball somehow gets the air to curve this way, the ball's gonna move that way. And that gives it the stability in the airstream. Ah, which I can nudge it then back You can and nudge forth it back and bit. forth yeah. a little bit. And you could try that with a ping pong ball on a hair dryer. Now, the other thing we saw with this one is it started to spin. Yeah. Okay? Things get tremendously more complicated when the <laughs> ball starts spinning and it drags air along with it. Right? Now, baseball players intuitively know yeah. that with aligning the sure. stitching and throwing it in a certain way. You can get the ball to curve, mm -hmm. so you apply additional forces. So what appears to be a relatively simple, straightforward demonstration can be actually fairly complex in terms of the physics that's happening. And one other thing that this is like just a really bad example, but a piece of paper, a toilet paper, if you blow on the top, it looks like the toilet paper lifts up, right? Uh -huh. Well, it does. It's not an application of faster airstream, lower pressure. It's just momentum transfer. The air is dragging the piece the of paper, paper up. up. And if I blow on the bottom, same thing happens. Okay. It's not the Bernoulli principle, so don't use that as an example. But one thing you could do with a roll of toilet paper <laughs> and a leaf blower, right, is you could actually transfer some momentum and really get a whole lot. <laughs> You know, I, I would say that works. When you're done with your leaf blowing, you can blow a few <laughs> rolls of toilet paper around. Try not to put it on somebody's house. Right. And I was going to, yeah, that would take uh, toilet paper to a whole other level. <laughs> Don't try that at home, but again, right? Not the Bernoulli principle. <laughs> More about momentum transfer. All right, but it's cool. Some fun you can have with a leaf blower. Well, there you go. If you want to teach the kids a little bit of fun science, you can probably go out to the garage, have mom or dad operate the leaf blower, and uh, <laughs> have a little fun there. If you want to check out the Imagination Station, they are open today. And one thing that we have to note here, Time is ticking. If you want to check out the Titanic exhibit, it ends and sets sail pretty soon It here. does on the 21st. All so right. come down and check it out. And today's Saturday, Lucas County Residence, 12 and under, get in free with a paid adult. All right, there you go. Carl, thanks so much for coming Thank in. You. As usual, always sure. fun here for Imagine It. From there, we're going to take it over to the boys. They have sports.